Hi guys, this is Rashid and you're watching Step by Step Robotics. So today I'm here with my new friends and this is the Avatar robot. So we spent a few months to uh, work on this Avatar robot about the hardware and the functionalities and the software behind this and also the web interface. So the web interface, the one behind me, is running on the web browser, the Google Chrome. And my team who is developing this web interface is Shello Jordan. And you can see that there's a couple buttons that we can control the robot and two camera stream and a slider to control the, uh, the robot arms. So thank you for Shello Jordan who is making this very nice web interface for me. So it's very functional and make this avatar robot um, control over the internet comes true. So yeah, it's very nice to have this interface for the user. So from the last videos that I show you guys about the camera lifting device, which is this robot arm. So right now I'm using one uh, webcam instead of the GoPro. And I add this one more webcam for the manual navigation. So this will be the uh, view for the user when he controlling the robot. And for the cart itself, I'm using the AT cart views that um, I show you how to hack these things. So if you want to know how I'm gonna control this with the Q pilot, you can check out on that video. Um, as you can see that there's a monitor to display the screen, the avatar face, or we can switch to our face because we also implement the um, calling features that the user, the operator, can communicate with the people around the robot. So let me get back on the console a little bit more. So as you can see that we have two camera stream from this to webcam and the frame rate of this camera is pretty fast right now and uh, there is a couple different buttons like changing the mode of the cart because um, sometimes we can control it by manual control from the gamepad or if we want to run it in the mission we can switch to auto mode and this is the um, arm this arm button which gonna lock all this button and on the right side here this is the uh, control the direction of the cart and which is running in the guide mode of a pilot and on the more right side here this is controlling the arm uh, on the height and depth for example here you can see that I can click and the arm will move according to that height and also in the depth like this so it's uh, pretty fast and stable so this is the uh, features that we can use in the avatar robot and also we can switch the face like um, this is a talking mode when I press this button and uh, when I disarm the cart the face will change to the sleep mode as well. So this is something that we can play with the avatar face. So when I turn the robot into the right side, it's gonna look onto the right. When I turn it into the left, it's gonna look at on the left. Something like this. Or if we want to show our face in here, we can uh, switch into another page and you can turn on the web calling features here so right now you can see my face on that screen instead of the bear and then if you want to change the face back to the bear you can change back by pressing this button and then you can see that the bear is showing so we can switch to our face and switch to the bear easily. So let's talk more about the control box. So in, in here I'm grabbing my phone and I'm gonna show you what is inside the controller box. So this is the six cell repo battery and the controller 
that I'm using is the Jetson Nano 4 gigabyte and the Cube Pilot Purple, and this is just the um, USB to uh, UART converter, so we can control the cube from this board, and some of the uh, RC components like the receivers and the XB for the telemetry of the cube, and this is the AT card interface board to uh, control the wheels easily by using the cube, the PWM signal. You will see here that is the two aluminum case there, which is the DC-DC converter to step down the 24 volt to 16 volt for the arm and uh, 12 volt and 5 volt for these components. And I'm using U2-D2 to control the dynamic cell servos. So, and there is a, uh, here three GPS, which I'm gonna use it when it's running outdoor. So today I would like to show you how to operate this robot outdoor and indoor. So let's get started. Okay, so right now the robot is outside and I'm opening up this browser console to uh, control the robot. We are like to operate the robot from here. So we can control the robot via the gamepad. I'm using this Logic Cool and it's pretty simple. We just plug it into our PC and the browser will uh, initialize this uh, gamepad and I said that we can control the throttle and steering by this two joystick. And also we can do the same thing as these buttons by clicking on this button to turn left, right. So yeah, let's see how I control this robot. So first I'm gonna drive it a little bit more in manual mode. So you can see that the streaming is moving and I will turn left a little bit. And here the streaming is quite pretty fast enough for most application. And this is where I place my another camera. So I think because right now I didn't turn my uh, own cameras here. So you will see the, some logos. And if I turn my camera on, so here it will start the video call from my side. And uh, on the robot side, it will see my face. So if I move my robot a little bit closer to the cameras, then we can use this button to make it turn or click on the console button here. So then I'm gonna drive it in manual mode again. So then I can move the robot arm up, go down. So I also have my own avatar face if I click the back button on this gamepad. So it shows the bare face, which it kind of shows on the robot instead of my face. So here, I'm in front of my office vending machine. So I can lift up this camera up to see what I can order uh, press. Okay. So yeah, if I make the robot arm have some fingers and like put the coin into this 
vending machine. I can even bring this thing back and serve to me. But yeah. Okay, so right now I bring the robot back into the office and I'm gonna do some tests indoor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look into this to stream only and control the robot from here like I did with outdoor. But uh, the robot will move from this room to another room which I already set up the camera there. So I'm gonna talk um, from this microphone and I hope that on that camera I can hear my voice and we can make sure that the calling features can work too. So let's get started. Okay, so first we need to arm the robot by clicking this button. And then I'm gonna open up my uh, videos so you can see my face here. Then let's make sure that the robot arm is working. Okay, it's working. Then Let's try to drive the robot. Um, I'm gonna look just only this to stream. To yeah, you can see that this is my, this is me. Here I'm sitting here. Then I'm gonna control the robot by using the gamepad. Okay, let me first checking on the steering first. Okay, steering. Okay, steering is not that bad can have a precise control, okay. So, I'll move the robot to that room. Okay, now I'm in the second room. So, uh, okay, let's go check on that rack. See what's in there. Okay, so I'm going to turn to the left side and you can see there I set up my camera. So I'm gonna go talk with myself. Okay. I think my face should be the bear right now. Uh, let me turn on my microphone here. Okay, so I'm gonna be there on that room and try to be the third person who talk with the robot and you hear my voice because I already turned on the speaker here. So let's see. I will be there. Side, which would be the people that um, talk with the robot. So, 
And that is for today demonstration videos. I hope you guys like it. So if you want to know more detail about how I control the cube pilot and the robot arms and also the avatar face switchers, so you can go check on my GitHub repos and also stepbysteprobotics.com. And if you want to know more about which WebRTC base that we are using and how we control the robot over the internet, so you can check out on Shello Jordan GitHub repo, Shello Kinsa Farm. So if you like this kind of video, please press like button. That will help me a lot to continue making the videos. And if you want to see more of my robot journey videos, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Woo!